you know, for something that I did under 10 minutes, it's 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 crazy. Hello guys, Mars Frame is here. So I wanted to see how far actually we are with AI tools and how easy it is actually to create a character for your Unreal Engine project or any other kind of like 3D project. So if you generate image in ChatGPT or Leonardo, then we put that image into the 3D model generator and then we just quickly rig it with some simple tools and put it Unreal and you know how good these characters are. So basically that's what we're gonna do today in this video. So for the starter, I use Leonardo and ChatGPT to generate images for my character. So the difference with these two image generators really is ChatGPT uh, usually tries to make these characters more like realistic. Even if I force it and tell them like, hey, create it more illustrated, more illustrated, it still kind of like goes into that realistic way. Therefore, Leonardo is actually making it more animated and you can move the sliders and stuff like that. So I just made few examples and I was like, try to see what exactly I want to try. At the end, I decided to take the images from the ChatGPT. Uh, I created two characters, two cat robots. One looks is more like a humanoid, so like a hum human cat. And the other one is a robot cat. Then I brought these both images and I generated a model into the Triple AI. Uh, there's multiple now software to generate 3D models. I just have used this multiple times and they just give you free credits. First, first thing I notice is like, you know, the same like when AI generates image, now it's getting better. It still struggles with uh, creating the hands. So the Mohamed model also has issues with hands. So uh, that's something that would need to fix in a, like, you know, some uh, software afterwards, like in a blender, or if it's like a background character where you actually can't see the clothes in a close up that, you know, the fingers are blent together. Uh, it's not an issue. Uh, when it comes to my cat robot, it actually came really good. Uh, I took these both models afterwards in a blender just to scale it, uh, rotate it to the correct way. So it faces correct direction. Uh, how usually Unreal Engine characters or Mixamo or whatever are facing. Uh, move them a bit up uh, for my uh, robot, just needed to remove the extra geometry. And then I used two ways to rig. So for my humanoid cat, I use actually Mixamo. There's a lot of, again, rigging tools that you can use. Mixamo is just very easy. It's like four points, you put it and it uh, immediately rigs it. Uh, retargeting is easy. I have a tutorial on that. So rig it in Mixamo, uh, export it in the typos, and I put it in Unreal Engine. After a quick retargeting, uh, I went to quickly just set up from Mixamo to Unreal so I can use this third person character. And voila, I'm walking around actually. And you know, if you want to prototype something, like really just try it, how the character feels and all that, you know, for something that I did under 10 minutes, you know, this character is already fully rigged, textured. It's already retopologized. Everything else for, for under 10 minute work, it's, I think it's amazing. And it feels good. And this is, this is obviously, you know, you're not gonna have pr production character, but let's say for a background. For background character, I have a lot of actually projects where we use low poly characters for some far background. You know, you can make it as a crowd, crowd characters in your cinematic. For a character under 10 minutes, imagine if you want to need to feel like you have a football field and you want to create characters for your fields and you can just, you know, set up a farm that just generates all these characters and basically if one character just really from image to character to rigging everything else takes under the 10 minutes, it, it's mind blowing. Because this character really looks way better than the character that I first time tried years ago when I first time 3D modeling. It's, it's, it's crazy. And then I actually quickly rigged also that robot, robot cat. Uh, I quickly rigged it actually in Unreal Engine. I still hate it. I, I don't like it. I think it's not so intuitive and, you know, rigging the blender would be way faster and stuff like that. But again, if you look at the perspective from prototyping, then rigging Unreal Engine, it's actually works pretty well because, you know, just make your skeleton and then you can adjust the weights to do the weight painting on the fly when you're playing with your character. So just quick weight paintings, quick fixes. And again, even this, that which was a bit more complex character without the rigging and everything else, 
took me under 15, 20 minutes. You know, again, it's not, it's, it's not really, I wouldn't call it fully production. It's not going to be definitely your main character. We are not there yet, but for prototyping, for background characters, for some low poly projects, actually for lo some low poly projects, maybe it is. If you're creating actually a low poly game where you have low poly characters walking around some animals and stuff like that, it's great. I, 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 I'm actually impressed and I actually got better results than I thought. So it was actually fun. Um, would like to hear how you're using AI tools and all these AI generated things in uh, your project. I think next thing I want to try is actually if we can create a, some kind of interesting scene using just AI generated stuff. I hope you found this video interesting and if you did, my Patreon and my YouTube membership is up. So there is two plans, simple ways how you can support the channel if you want. If not, then just like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.